Hello and welcome to Discover the Villages with Jana Raver. This week we've got restaurant review, house of the week, what do I get for my money, the MLS stats, and three holes of golf. Also, fall has arrived here in the villages. It's been a long, hot summer and the nice cool breeze, being able to open your windows and doors has been just a great feeling. And it's especially great when you go to the outings, such as the Heritage Festival, which we're gonna show you right now. We just arrived at Spanish Springs and it's the Heritage Festival Parade and it, the parade started at three, but the um, things go on till tonight at nine. They have all kinds of food trucks and all kinds of goodies. Well, that's, that was a lot of fun. And uh, as we're on our way out, let's check out the food trucks. We really enjoyed the Heritage Festival. There's a lot of work that goes into making that and we all really appreciate it. Now it's time for What Do I Get For My Money? And now it's time 
for our MLS stats for the week of October 9th through the 16th. Sold. Last week, 26. I mean, this week, 26, I'm sorry. Last week, 43. Pending this week, 39. Last week, 23. New listings, 37 and 44 last week. Price reductions, 41 yeah. this 36 week. Last. Yeah. 36 last week, 36. Hey, what are you doing this week? Got nothing going on, nothing at all. Hey, you wanna go slide? Sure, okay, go. Before you know it, they're gonna be Woo. taking over my spot. <laughs> Active homes on the market last week were 337 and this week it is 336. Pretty steady. We're on Main Street in Wildwood, which is just outside the villages, and we decided to try Miss Kathy's Cotillion for lunch. I'm very impressed when I got outside the car. Um, these old appliances, they've got peppers, onions, and tomatoes growing in them. It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon and it's still got quite a few ladies in here. A big group of ladies who are leaving as we um, pulled up and they said they really enjoyed their lunch. Uh, we, are, we are ordering lunch but they have all sorts of different things on the menu such as um, country fried steak, shepherd's pie, they have uh, last chicken in Atlanta pot pie. I think that is so cute. Um, you really feel the Southern influence here um, with all of the decor and menu. I'm excited. We have ordered, um, we ordered some fried green tomatoes for a starter and cameraman ordered a um, salad. It's actually three different types of salads. I'm not sure which one he got yet, but we'll see when it gets here. And I ordered the harvest salad, which is artisan lettuce, pumpkin seeds, craisins, all sorts of goodies. And it's mostly I ordered it because it has an apple cider vinaigrette. I love that. There's all sorts of memorabilia in here, and uh, even going down to the bathroom, uh, there's all sorts of things to look at. It's really quaint. And quite appropriate, Miss Kathy even has her own cookbook for sale. There's several on the shelf up there. And I was thumbing through here, some really interesting things. This is really cute. It has Miss Kathy's Southern Tea Biscuits. And just looking at the ingredients, um, it looks just like a, a scone ingredient and in, um, recipe. But it says on here, ladies love scones, but scones are English. We are in the South, so scones are called Southern Tea Biscuits. <laughs> oh, that is so cute. i tell you what, this is very well produced. Oh, goodness. Our appetizers just arrived. Look at these fried green tomatoes, and this is a crock full of roumelade sauce, and uh, certainly has whetted my appetite. <laughs> I've never had fried green tomatoes fried with flour before. Usually I've had uh, cornmeal. These are very tasty. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Just arrived and I want you to look 
what a monster salad I got. This is called the harvest salad, and it's got apples, raisins, red onion. Oh gosh, can't wait. Bacon, looks fabulous. And cameraman got a trio of salads. Looks like he got egg salad, tuna, and pimento cheese. Um, cameraman just got the appetizer portion. Really enjoying my salad, but after all those fried green tomatoes, there is no way I'm going to be able to eat all this. Cameraman has tried each one of his salads, and uh, he said they're all excellent. They're made fresh in-house every day. As I said, I can finish it all because of all those fried green tomatoes. Um, the lettuce was very fresh, as well as the ingredients. Um, I'll have to give it a nine and a half. I thought the uh, fried gr green tomatoes were a definite 10. Cameraman, what do you think? So, the waitresses were very, very friendly, and uh, everything is made in-house. The desserts, they're known for their desserts. In fact, take a picture of that chocolate cake over there. Um, and that's all made here, too. Um, however, I don't have any room for dessert, so we'll have to come back and have that another so time. So glad I came. Um, I really enjoyed my food. The atmosphere was perfect. And although you hear this is a busy road, you hear all this road noise, from inside, you don't hear a thing. It's amazing. I definitely would give this a try. It, it's a specialty. I'll be back. I love going somewhere to eat different. And that is right near the villages, not far away at all. And I tell you what, it is a great experience. I would highly recommend it. Now it's time for House of the Week. We are at 5831 Larkin, and this is in the village of Hawkins. This is a Monroe veranda home, which means it is fully fenced in the back. It's got beautiful curb appeal, great landscaping front and back. Can't wait to show it to you. Oh, wow. I really like this. What a beautiful entrance with this wood look tile. A beautiful glass door. This is so pretty. Oh my. I love these cabinets. These are a, a light gray and they're shaker style. Staggered. Those are beautiful. Very, very nice. And it looks really nice with this um, top. You have subway tile here, gas cooking, stainless appliances, French door refrigerator, and over here in the pantry, you've got really nice slide outs. Those are wonderful. Look at the amount of space you have here in the dining area. You've got plenty of room for a bigger table, six or an eight top, and china cabinet if you like. You've got stool could go here, and this is all one level, which a lot of people are really liking now. Beautiful lighting. It's um, on the modern side, but I really, like it. Very pretty. Living room here. Got plenty of space. This home is staged, so they very rarely will put a TV when it is staged, but plenty of room to comfortably sit 
and watch TV or have a conversation. And it's very nice and bright in here with the two windows. Then you've got the openness out here and all the lighting, the transom and door. You've even got a transom over the kitchen nook window. Let's check out my favorite area, the lanai. This is very spacious. I like that as soon as you walk in, you have that palm tree right in the middle. That's nice. Not only do you have a spacious lanai, but you've got a real good sized patio back here. The landscaping is very nice. And they've actually raised these stone beds up to where it's the same level as your patio and lanai. So if you wanted to put additional birdcage out here, you could do it easily. We're on a corner lot and therefore that gives you tons of space around here. This is perfect for people with animals. It's 3.30 in the afternoon and we're in shade here. So that means you're probably gonna get the morning sun to come out and have your coffee and be able to enjoy uh, sitting on the lanai of an evening. It's a gorgeous day today. It's 70 degrees. So this is the type of weather to leave these doors open because you have the screens here and you can just enjoy the fresh air. Let's go check out the main bedroom. Wow, what a good sized room. And look at this tray ceiling. It is huge, I like that. Carpet is a nice light gray and the wall color being light just makes it feel so nice and airy in here. These two windows really make it bright in here. This is something I really like. You have two really good sized closets. And in the main bath, you have a very pretty Roman shower, a separate water closet with a pocket door, and two separate vanities, which have lots of drawers and plenty of space. On this one, you have um, storage for towels and the tall ceilings make this just look voluminous. Next to the kitchen and off the main bedroom is a very nice utility room. Got the cabinets in here and these actually are the same color but because of the fluorescent light they, they tend to look a little blue green to me but they are a pale gray. You have your sink here and out here, I'll tell you what, I think you could eat off this floor. <laughs> Look how spacious this garage is. You've got the Nova water system here and this golf cart garage is so deep, you could definitely get two golf carts in tandem here easily. Very nice. I love this floor. I've never seen this floor done in these colors, but it's, it's very clean and nice looking. Just so you can get your bearings, the laundry room's here, main bedroom. Way on the other side of the house is the guest area. My favorite, of course. This allows privacy for your guests. You can just close off this whole area. Cameraman especially likes these pocket doors, but the only thing he would change, he would like to have a lock on it to where he could only let the guests out when he wanted them to come out. <laughs> I love the vaulted ceiling in here. Nice size room. Got plenty of room for a, a queen size bed. closet is really wide. Got 
very nice and bright because of the double window. Let's in a lot of light. This is bigger than your average guest bath. If you noticed how wide those doors are, and um, so the vanity is elongated, you have some room on each side, and the shower is tiled, tub shower combination with the window. Once again, letting in natural light. And right next door to that is a linen closet and you have your third bedroom here. I like the way this room is angled. I think it makes uh, it very interesting. And for those of you that like to join in, it's guess the price time. Oh, and the bond is paid. In summing up this beautiful three bedroom, two bath, Monroe Veranda in the village of Hawkins. It has beautiful cabinets. In fact, I think these cabinets are some of the prettiest I've ever seen. It's got 2,060 square feet, was built in 2020. It has a full car garage and an elongated golf cart garage. So if you are interested in seeing this, at 559, you can call, text, or email me. I'll be more than happy to show it to you. Welcome to our three holes of golf. This is hole number seven on Pelican, and it is a par three. It's 127 from the blacks, 116 from the gold, sure what it is from the green to be honest but this is the normal hole <laughs> the weather is just perfect there is no wind but it's not humid it's just really pleasant and from here, I can barely hear the music from Lake Center Landing. And a lot of the birds are coming in. I guess they're going, getting ready to roost. A little bit of a mess in here. I ended up in the bunker, but oh well. split second I thought it was going to go in for a from the black it's 157 120 from the gold and something I forgot to mention this a lot of the area on this golf course is environmentally protected so the red stakes with the green top, you can't even go in there to get your ball if you should hit it in there. Just a tip. Quite a narrow little passage, and I certainly don't want to be in the sand again, so keep your fingers crossed. When we 
come out. We always come out late, so we don't get in anybody's way. And there's another perk for that is looking at the beautiful sky. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but the sand hills are in this field behind us. We love those birds. When they have a baby, they, the baby stays with them for a good while and they mate for life, the male and female. Very interesting and very fun to watch. Oh, and I, I, speaking of fun, this butt doesn't look too fun. This is hole number nine, and we are at the Black Tees, just over 200 yards. Look what you have to do to get there. Of course, I'm not going from here. I just wanted to show it to you. gold tees and it's 159 from here but it's a good little poke to clear all that stuff so I think uh, if I'm going to play it smart I need to go from the green. I know I'm whipping out going from the green. <laughs> this is uh, not very challenging but it's yards. I just don't feel like losing a ball. Not there. All that talking about an easy hit and I barely made it on. <laughs> Long way. seen all nine holes of pelican and for you brave souls out there that want to give it a try I highly recommend it I love playing golf when the weather is this nice and two things I really really love about fall here in the villages one is the mully grass turns pink and it is absolutely gorgeous another is they haven't arrived yet, but the white pelicans come in. I love watching those birds. When they do come, we will find them and show them to you. You will enjoy it. And remember, if you're planning a trip down, don't forget to call me, text me, or email me. I can help you find a home. I've helped many, many people become villagers that were watching these videos, and now they live right here. So, and if, you're, if you live here and want to sell your home, I can help you there too. I have buyers all over the country. So, if you haven't subscribed, please do so and press that like button. In fact, all of you press the like button right now. It really helps our channel and we so appreciate it. Now, all that's left is thank you very much for watching. We will see you next time. Until then, bye. We're in the village of Hawkins and this is 1580. <laughs> wait. <laughs> All right, wait a minute. Fall has arrived. 
I am so excited. We've had a long, hot winter. <laughs> oh, long, hot winter. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> well, you know, it does have a lock. No, it doesn't there. Some of them do have a, a lock. <laughs> and for those of you, <laughs> I got tongue-tied.